This video was brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Get top quality razors shipped to you starting at just $1 a month to your doorstep. Link below down in the description. Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my review of the Microsoft Band. Yes, Microsoft's new fitness band is out. We did an unboxing, we took a first look at it, but we spent time actually working out with this, using this pretty well, and also using Microsoft Health. So this review combines both of them together. Now the band retails for $1.99, if you can find it anywhere, you're lucky because it's sold out. But anyway, let's go ahead, jump in, and find out what really makes the Microsoft Band tick, and is Microsoft Health really the future of all fitness uh, workouts and uh, software? <laughs> So here's the Microsoft Band, as you can see, it's all scratched up. Yes, that's because I've been working out with it. Now, if you're gonna pick this up, make sure you get the screen guard with it. Um, they didn't have any available when I picked it up. So, of course, that's why you can see all these scuff marks all around. So the band works this way. If you look here, there's actually, basically, this is the action button, the small button, and this one is your power on and off button here. You've got a sensor here in the front, and you've got also your, if I flip this around and show you, you have your, basically your, that's your heart rate monitor right there. Right there, that's the heart rate monitor which always constantly monitors your heart rate. And that is the charging port there to actually charge your device. So let me just put this back on so we can get this on. Now here is the lock mechanism which actually goes that way and you can basically slide it in and out to fit your styling so let's get look at this properly so the band here works very simply in just the way it is itself um, you've got a component which works with your smartphone which you take a closer look at but you can see you've got your time uh, initially here um, and you've also got the steps you've taken that day and if you pull back you can see the battery as well as your heart rate and also Bluetooth now if you want to just take a look at your heart rate currently you can tap on the main screen see your steps see how many miles you've covered, see your calories for the day you've burnt, uh, and when do I go see my heart rate. Now, I should be seeing my heart rate at this point. Um, that was kind of off. And there we go, yeah. So heart rate there at 70. So it has to be locked into place. So once you actually wear this properly, your heart rate will always be monitoring your heart rate constantly, which is nice. So if we head back, we can see a couple of things now. We have a bunch of notifications which we can actually get on the device. Text messages, that's email, that's cause phone calls. You can go in and check out the calendar. You can go in and see, I set up a, a new activity, a run activity. So that start, run, GPS is on. Uh, last run is 11.03, and, and that's some of the data from my last run, which is just something I used to test. Shows you my time, miles, and time, uh, miles, 59 calories. So you can get all that information directly on here. And to start your run, you basically hit the action button right there. Same thing for workouts. You can check that out, as well as uh, your sleep. So you can also do sleep tracking for you, as well as UV light. Press the action button to check your UV levels. So we can press that, we're indoors, and just to show you how it is, no UV detected because we're indoors, but it gives you the UV levels you're experiencing. So, you know, in case you don't get a sunburn or also you get uh, just, you know, UV damage, that fun stuff. Starbucks card, you can actually go into your tiles, manage, add uh, some Starbucks card, and actually use this for payments at Starbucks. And then you've got your settings. Now your settings, you can mute, You've got clock watch mode. Now, if you turn that on, that really cuts down the battery life. So your watch mode will always be on. And I'll show you in a second what much watch mode is, but I'll turn that on, leave it there for now. Auto set on time. And you've got brightness on auto. You can move back, Bluetooth, airplane mode. You've got more settings. Daily uh, heart rate monitor is on. Hepatic feedback, um, paired to my OnePlus One, and uh, serial ID. So watch mode on means this. Once I turn it off, or I hit the power button, I always have a clock or watch on. And that actually turns down, pretty drains, drains, drains down the battery here, and that's what really takes it away. But in terms of functionality and use, this thing really does a fantastic job. And it really, uh, the reason why I say that is when you're working out, uh, especially doing just a workout. For instance, I went to the gym, I did a workout, and I, it was constantly monitoring my calories, the time I'm spent working out, and also my heart rate, and, um, and, uh, and you know how much calories I was burning. 
burn it. So it was, it was good for me to see as I'm working out, seeing that, all right, you know what, uh, at the end of that workout, I didn't burn as much as I thought I did. You know, even though I thought I was working out more, I could see my heart rate as it was going constantly. And it gives you a whole map of that, that which you can clearly see more in the applications itself. So we'll take a look at that, the both applications, uh, the, the Microsoft Health app on Android as well as Windows Phone. So the Microsoft Health app is cross-platform, cross which means on your Windows Phone, Android device, as well as iOS, it will work. And also your data will sync because everything's synced to the cloud. So your data is not necessarily saved on your phone, but on the cloud. So in this case, I'm gonna show you first. Starting off, I'm using this on my OnePlus One here. So I have that basically saved on my OnePlus One. And I can do my workouts. Uh, everything will be on the band and I can basically sync it up later. But we turn on the device and we see here we have home, activity, find a workout, my profile, preferences, connected apps, things like my fitness pal and things like that will work into the connected apps section, help, sign out, and then you have all the notifications that, you, that you're showing on the side right here. Now, uh, find a workout is pretty cool because Microsoft has gone to work out with, uh, check out, uh, basically work with a couple of brands. You can have favorite workouts to actually have types of workouts. So you can select a brand, you can get workouts from Microsoft, Gold's Gym, Shape, Men's Fitness, Men's um, Muscle, uh, Benchwood, I and mean, I'm sure more will come up. But the fact that you have different places to get workouts from, you can actually use those workouts. So for instance, I can do four week chest blast, basically for my chest, 60 minute intermediate workout. I can go ahead, make this my workout plan if I choose to, and uh, Band arrow, please guide workout. Okay, manage tiles. So I need to actually uh, clear some of my tiles to do that, but I can add that or I can favor this and I basically save this for later. So I have a workout I can easily find and pick. That is nice. You know, it's something that a lot of other fitness apps don't necessarily do for you. And I like that aspect about it, that they actually bring that in there. And especially for someone who's trying to stay fit, trying to stay healthy and uh, do all those fun things. So you have things like your preferences where you, for your weight and your, uh, you know, um, weight metrics as well as temperature. And then here is that, that's the band, that's where you can manage your tiles. This is where you can go in and you have a set amount of tiles that can actually show up on screen. So right now I have messaging, mail, um, calls, calendar. I can take out messages because I rarely get uh, that many um, text messages. Um, calendar, run, exercise, sleep, um, alarm clock, guided workouts if I want to. So that's basically why that didn't show up. So I can actually add that. In there, I have my UV uh, up there. Um, what else? Uh, exercise, run. I have Facebook Messenger if I choose to, Twitter, and Notification Center. That covers all the notifications you get on an Android device. So because even though it doesn't, you know, it's working on Android, you can actually get things like your Hangout messages and things like that come through the Notification Center here. So you can do that, hit save, and that will basically sync with your band. So that's how you have your notifications come in, all the different uh, tile aspects you want uh, in there, and that's how you, basically make that fit. Now here's the other cool part. So all those, the workout I did, I basically I told you I went to the gym, you saw that. And also um, I did a quick run. And also I checked, I also uh, used the sleep, uh, sleep, sleep tracker. I can go ahead and look at my activity history. So here's some of the activity I have done with this. So you can see there's an exercise at 5.11. And you can see there's a gold cup because that was my best calorie outtake here. And here's another exercise at 10.31, which is only 488 calories there. And here's the sleep. So, and as well as a run, we can go into the sleep here and we can see, for instance, you can see sleep tracking shows you when you're awake. Uh, says I was awake uh, five X times, five or more times. Uh, I had more light sleep and I had a short amount of restful sleep. So you can see all the stats that helps you understand how much you sleep. You know, you need six hours of sleep a day, uh, six, hours, six to seven hours. I'm doing five hours, 44 minutes. It says I was efficient even in my short amount of time. My resting heart rate was 60 uh, calories burn with 535. So it's nice to actually see some of this data, especially how well you're sleeping and all that fun stuff. And here's uh, with the run. Again, this is not really, I did, it's a quick run, so it's not really, it wasn't meant for an exercise um, um, settings, but you can actually enable your GPS and actually shows you where you actually ran. I'm not showing you that because um, it was, you know, it's just something I need to set up, but you can actually, um, set up a GPS and it'll show you exactly where you ran and uh, you can check out your splits. Since I didn't do a mile, so there's no splits for me there, but my duration was five minutes, 32 seconds, five, 59 calories, start time. There was no split average pace it was that. My calorie, my average heart rate was 122. So 
the cool thing about this is that it really shows you what you're trying to do and what you can achieve. So you can see they also showed my recovery time was three hours uh, plus. So that's the time I needed to recover from my next exercise. Uh, then just taking a look at probably the best exercise I had. So this is a workout I did and it can show you um, where you are within that workout. So even though I felt like I was dying in this workout, I was only doing anaerobic at 168 uh, in my heartbeat. So I wasn't at my max and my max is probably about, is 187 plus is saying the max. And uh, the workout was for 45 minutes. I had aerobic uh, aspiration. You can see the up and down dips throughout the workout here. You can actually see my uh, start time was 646. A calories burned was 511, fats to carbs, ending heart rate, average heart rate uh, there. My highest heart rate was 165 and my recovery time is 11 hours. So this tells you, you know, exactly how you are doing in the workout. And this is very helpful. Now, um, you know, this gives you a lot of data with all the sensors that they packed in there. And I think Microsoft has done a good job in giving you a lot of this information. What's really cool about all this is that I'm using it on my Android phone. You know, you saw it was paired with my OnePlus One. I already have the app on my Windows phone. I can go in, go to Microsoft Health, and everything is synced in there. So if I decide to unsync this from my Android phone, go to my Windows phone, uh, look at it. It's the same data we we're looking at here and here. Boom, exactly there. It syncs, everything syncs in the cloud, and that's great. I love that fact that everything that you're doing in this workout is right here. So you know, even if I go to the gym tonight and I do some more workouts or I, I want to track my sleep, as I switch devices, it doesn't matter. And I like that part about Microsoft Health is that um, it works seamlessly with every device that you use. So if I go from Windows Phone to Android, or if I say, you know what, I want to get an iPhone 6, same thing, it will work with that. And I like that aspect. I don't have to buy a new product or anything like that. I don't have to dump what I'm using, you know. So this actually goes against what you have with Android Wear as well as what Apple even offers. So I like that aspect about it. And it's really solid. Uh, I want to see some more. I want to see just some more data. I'm just one of those people who wants to see more data in general. You can also filter what you want in there with your workouts and all that fun stuff. But I want to see more data that you can derive from this. So at least this, this is very good good intermediary data for individuals so you can see basically um, how well you're doing as well as uh, you know how much calories you burnt and what time you're spending and all that so it took me 45 minutes to burn 511 calories with this workout in here so that's a good indication but let's go so ahead and my thoughts about the Microsoft ban I think Microsoft has done a good job especially with Microsoft Health there's a lot of data in there you can get there's a lot of um, free tools in terms of workouts and also shaping, um, adding other different applications, especially like calorie intake applications there for you. I like the fact that the uh, Microsoft Health also syncs with every device seamlessly. So moving from Android to Windows Phone and iOS, is no problem you can switch devices and you know you don't have to switch bands and also your info info actually goes with you across the board because of course it's been synced over through the cloud which is nice the band itself is uh it's nice it's adequate i i'm not a big fan of the design i think it needs to be a little bit more rounded or fit better on the hands maybe the bottom part can be flat so you can read the heart rate but this needs to be a little bit more curved here on the very top. And also, as you can see, I've pretty much just destroyed mine with all my um, all my workouts altogether. But I do like it. I think they've done a very good job here with the Microsoft Band. Um, again, this is something Microsoft wants to set up as a template. I had, I had discussions over the weekend uh, talking to different people and they said, well, it's too expensive. It might be too much. And I think, you know, at $200, it's, it's, it's a nice price. Microsoft wants to set a template for other manufacturers to basically license their sensors, use it, and also build something better for you. So I think that's fine, and I think it works out very well. I will definitely recommend it. I'm not the biggest fitness band fan. That's Sam. Sam loves the fitness bands, but I've really enjoyed using this and I'm actually keeping this just because it's something that, you know, it's kind of fit my own schedule and style. I still like my wrist watches, so I can always wear this on my right hand and do my workouts and not care because I, I'm using this for a specific purpose. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Microsoft band as well as Microsoft Health, let me know um, if you bought one. I want to hear your thoughts, your usage, all that fun stuff. Do you like it? Are you using it? Um, you know, all that fun jazz there. Sorry, I couldn't show you how to use uh, 
payments with it because my local Starbucks wasn't able to do that, so I just didn't set it up. But I've heard from people that it actually works pretty well um, altogether. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, top right-hand corner of your screen, right's the other way, and uh, down in the description below. And uh, always enjoy your entertainment.